It's such an amazing feeling, bringing home your perfect newborn in a brand new outfit into the beautifully appointed nursery. Everything is so sparkly and fresh and tidy. But after the umpteenth spit up, the zillionth dirty diaper, and the inevitable projectile poop, you realize, crap, kids are messy and I'm the one who has to clean up after them. So you look around your now stained and cluttered house and you methodically adapt to your new reality. You stash baby wipes in every room and purse. You go to Ikea and buy a gajillion bins to store all the toys. <laughs> and you revel in the dog's ability to clean in and around the high chair after every meal. <laughs> But try as you might, you simply can't fully prepare for every mess. My disgusting story started with a farting mishap. <laughs> the kind of mishap where my preschooler thought he was going to release a simple fart, but instead found himself sitting in warm, squishy underwear. <laughs> Please note, this has never happened to me. We're talking about my son here. He'd had similar incidents before, and each time I refrained from calling it a shart <laughs> and casually advised my son to learn the difference between a fart and a poop. He would nod, present me his butt for cleaning, put on a fresh pair of underwear, and get on with his day. I was never thrilled to have to deal with one of these accidents, but they didn't happen all that often. And let's face it, I was just so happy that my son was out of diapers. I didn't make a huge fuss over the occasional slip up until one terrible day. My son came to me to report that he had had another farting mistake. <laughs> I held back a curse word, forced a smile, and said, we all have accidents, sweetie. Let's go clean up. We went into the bathroom where I directed him to the toilet so he could finish whatever it was he clearly needed to finish as I rinsed out his underwear in the sink. As I was scrubbing, he sneezed and a huge booger on an enormously thick string of snot torpedoed from his nose and just hung there, <laughs> precariously down his panic-stricken face. Now, I can handle a lot of gross things, but honestly, mucus pushes me to my limits. And this was like no mucus I had ever seen before. This had a life of its own. That monstrous tentacle of slime swayed dangerously back and forth, just taunting me. I was terrified. But this was my child, and I would show no fear. I hitched up my yoga pants and went in. Like a slow motion scene from an action movie, I dropped my son's soapy clothes in the sink, grabbed a tissue, reached over to contain that foul mess just as the entire hanging mass of mucus, booger and all, accidentally got inhaled right into his mouth. <laughs> Time stopped. <laughs> Our eyes locked. We exchanged a silent what the fuckity fuck. Okay, that might have been me. But my son conveyed the little boy equivalent. And then my son began to gag precisely what was coming like a ninja 
I grabbed the bathroom wastebasket and shoved it right in front of his face just in time. My son puked the ginormous glob of snot and his entire breakfast into the trash can. All of it. All of it. While pooping on the toilet. A trifecta of bodily fluids. If it hadn't been so repulsive, I would have said it was a beautifully choreographed piece of performance art. Heart racing, I looked at my son who was staring back at me with a betrayed look in his eyes as if to say, Mom, you never prepared me for this scenario. And I was shaking my head slowly trying to catch my breath, thinking my husband had better get me something shiny for this one. <laughs> my son and I walked out of that bathroom despondent and wounded. We had become different people, <laughs> scarred from the epic battle we fought together. Once I recovered, I knew I needed to do my motherly duty and address the real issue. My son and I had a long discussion about when to trust a fart <laughs> and when not to. The difference between air pressure and the pressure from a solid mass. <laughs> but this is a difficult skill to master when you're only four years old. And my son had more than a few accidents during the process. Worn down from the war on charts, I eventually threw my hands in the air and gave him the very best advice I could think of. Just go sit on the toilet every time you need to fart. Thank you.